Okay guys, so today's tutorial is on this look here, and I used the Morphe Brushes eyeshadow palette in 35N, so yeah, if you want to learn how to choose this look, please keep on watching. So, I already primed my eye with Max Pro Langwe in NW20. I've been using this primer because I ran out of my primer, so... Sorry, I'm using my concealer, so why not? Okay, so the first uh, shadow I'm going to use is from the 35W palette for Morphe. And I'm going to take... Let me show you guys. This is really hard. This color right here. Wait, no, this one. It's kind of close to my skin color. So I'm just going to use that. As my transition color, and I'm going to use a 224 brush from MAC. And I'm just going to put that on my upper crease right here. And um, yeah, I'm just going to put that there because that's where the transition colors go. kind of go downwards like this. I don't know why. I just kind of do everything because it doesn't have to be really precise. So it's just the transition color. Mira nomás así. <laughs> Alright. And then with the same brush, I'm going to go in with... Which one am I going to go in with? This one right here. It's kind of like a plummy violet color. So I'm going to go in with the same brush, the 224 brush. And I'm just going to place that on like not up here but down here in the crease. So a little bit lower from where we placed that transition color. And I'm going to go downwards with it. So I'm just going to place that right here. And I'm going to keep going back into the color so I intensify it more. I'm gonna show you guys how I go downwards, but if I put my hand right here, it's gonna be your way. I'm gonna try to grab it like this. So like this. I'm gonna keep going back into it and darkening it up a bit. Kind of like that, and I'm gonna go in one more time, and I'm gonna do the same thing, just kind of intensifying that color a little bit more. There we go. And then I'm gonna go in with my 220. Oh wait, just kidding. It's a uh, E25 blending brush and I'm going to use the color right next to it which is that one right there so it's just a little bit darker so I'm going to take that one on the E25 brush from Sigma and it's kind of the same as a 217 brush from MAC so I mean any little brush that looks like this you can use um yeah I'm just going to place that there and then I'm going to go kind of on the same spot. I don't know how to really explain this, but it's kind of like, you know how we put that color right there? Well, we're going to kind of just make it darker. It's just, it just helps everything blend in better if you put color. And then another color. If you kind of know what I'm saying. I don't know. I'm really bad at explaining myself, but I'll show you. So I'm going to go downwards again, like make, make it go this way. So it makes it kind of like sharp line, like right there. Do you see that? Do you see it? Do you see it? So I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go back into it and just make it a little bit darker. <laughs> I'm gonna keep 
keep going into it. And then when I have the desired, you know, like shade that I want, like the how dark I want it, I'm gonna bring it down right here. Just kind of put it on the like outer V right there. Just bring it down like this. Hope I'm in, I hope I'm in focus because yeah, that'd be bad if I wasn't. Like this, and then go back and blend. And then guess what the next step is? I'm gonna go back and blend again. And I have no product whatsoever, so I'm just gonna go back and blend. And you don't don't worry about this because when we put the winged eyeliner, that's kind of gonna go hide, and then when we do our concealer, make it sharper. So yeah, I'm gonna go back and blend. See, and everything just blends in very well. But then sometimes when you blend, the color kind of goes bye-bye. So I'm going to go back in and make it a little bit darker. Otra vez, otra vez. I'm just going to fill it. And then next with the color right here. Oh, wait, wait. And this one. I'm going to take a shader brush and then obviously put it all over my lid. It's like a pinky mauvey color. I like it. I like it a lot. What you want? Pack, pack, pack it on, pack, pack, pack it on. Kinda looks orange in the But it's not orange. It's like a pinky mauve color. Maybe it has a hint of orange. Whatever. Then I'm gonna go in and just blend those colors in. And then here I'm just gonna kinda fast forward my eyeliner because I take forever with that. So yeah. Here is how I do my eyeliner. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. I wait. <laughs> Just gonna curl them. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of mascara. Okay, a lot of it. Because my eyelashes tend to go straight down. So I kinda have to put a lot for them to hold up. I see me to watch her. Then I'm gonna take. Oh shit, what the I'm not very good at all these, like, at these talk-throughs. Because I mess up a lot, because I have, I have problems. What's that called? Um, can't even think straight. Um, I'm clumsy, that's what it is. Clumsy, so then, <sighs> talk-throughs are difficult for me. I kind of lose my train of thought sometimes. Like I concentrate on one thing and then I just totally forget what I'm talking about. Okay, well I'm going to put... I'm sure you guys... I don't know if I can see, but I'm going to put glue on my eyelashes. I'm all trying to show you guys and I'm like down here. That's very helpful, isn't it? I'll probably post a video of how I... Put on my eyelashes more in depth so I can show you how, how I put the glue and stuff. But I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit. That was a weird noise outside. Then I'm gonna have my tweezers and I'm just gonna pop them on there. Just gonna. Mm -hmm. And I just go with the end of the tweezers and then I just push them down. Make sure they stick. Like that. So this is the final look guys. I hope you like this video. Um, for my lips I actually put Honey Love 
lipstick from MAC and I actually filmed a tutorial on my foundation routine foundation routine so that will be up pretty shortly I hope um so if you like this video please like don't forget to subscribe and thank you all again for watching and I will see you in my next video <laughs> bye guys